Hey, this is Gary Baird with SellerEssentials.com. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about how using a sales velocity chart can help you make much better buying decisions than using the old sales rank percentage chart. Um, I actually created the sales rank percentage chart that you see floating around a lot out there, um, and I used to use it a lot, and because it's what we had, and now we have a, what I believe is a superior tool that helps people make better buying decisions. Not that the sales rank chart uh, was bad, the percentage chart, you just had to really know how to use it. Um, and I think it was a little bit more complex to learn to use the numbers on there um, than the new sales velocity chart is. So let me just show you quickly what I mean by these in case you don't know already. So in a traditional sales rank percentage chart, um, you know, the top 1% category, um, and it tells you, okay, anything under 43.16 rank in this category in appliances is in the top 1% because there's a total of 40, 431,000 products. Uh, anything in the 20 top, top 5% is going to be 21,578 or less. So a lot of people, what they do is they'll say, okay, hey, top 5%, that sounds really good. Uh, products must be moving if they're in the top 5% of a category. And that's true for some categories. Products do move pretty consistently in some categories in the top 5%. Um, grocery is a good example. Um, you're going to move some products at 31,000 rank. Um, pet supplies, you're going to move some products at 33,000 rank, which is top 5% um, in you know, you get into toys and games, 126,000 products are going to move. They're going to move slowly, uh, maybe not at Christmas time, but in general during the year, they're going to move slowly. But you get into some categories and products are not going to move very rapidly. Uh, electronics is one of them, and a, a million ranked electronics product is a very slow mover if it moves at all. Um, same thing with a category like watches, 21,000 is it's quite high in watches um, and you're probably not going to see very many sales in that. So using a chart like this blindly without understanding each category well can, can really help you make some poor buying decisions or can cause you to make some poor buying decisions. So what we did is I created this new chart um, that is a sales velocity chart which gives you a little bit more information that helps you make better buying decisions. So what I did instead of saying okay and in arts and crafts and sewing, we have you know 17,000 means it's in the top 1%. That's great, but we really don't know what that means. And that's what the sales velocity chart is going to help us to understand. What does the 17,000 rank mean besides it's in the top 1%? So in arts and crafts and, and sewing, if you look at 17,000, it's somewhere between this 14,000 and two, two, or 20,000, excuse me. Um, so it's selling between 30 and 50 a month. So we always round down and estimate about 30 a month um, because we like to stay conservative but so a 30 a month that sounds you know if you saw if I said something was in the top one percent and you'd be pretty excited about that typically any most sellers would be but if I then told you that only that meant that it only sold 30 a month um, that excitement what might wane a little bit and you might be a little less uh, or a little more cautious when you're buying quantity of that item. So that's what this chart does. So it keeps you from making buying mistakes, whereas you might load up on a product just because it's in the top 1%. You might not if you saw that that estimate is only about 30 sales per month, especially if it's got other competing sellers on that listing. If you have two other sellers even, and you're the third, that means you're, you'll each sell about 10 per month if you're all competing uh, for the buy box, if you're all priced competitively. So it gives you a little bit of information that a sales percentage chart doesn't. And uh, just want to show you a couple products here, both Table Topics games. Um, we used to sell these when Table Topics wasn't on them themselves. Um, so I'm not outing anybody's product anymore, I don't think, because Table Topics sells these pretty consistently themselves and they sell it at the regular retail price of 25 bucks. But so this is a product that you are not going to get in trouble if you use the traditional sales rank percentage chart. Um, you can see, I'm going to go through the whole year view here. So you can see during this year, the highest this rank ever got was 20, 29,000, it looks like, around right around 30,000. Um, the lowest it got is probably somewhere under 1,000, right? So you see it, 866 there, you see a little a big dip here, 939. So it got, it's most of the time well under that uh, 1,000 rank or 2,000 rank. But there was a little blip here, and you can see the price rose when it did that. So if you bought this product, even at its highest point, 
of 29, 30,000 and you were using the sales rank percentage chart, toys, 30,000 is going to be top 1%. This is still selling pretty well uh, at that price. You can see if we close the zoom in on this, um, you can still see a lot of little dips here, a lot of ups and downs, which are indicative of sales when you see those drops like that. So it was selling pretty quickly, even at that $48, $49 mark um, when the rank went up. So you're not going to get yourself in too much trouble. Even if you said, hey, this is top 1%, I'm going to load up on this product. You're not going to get yourself in too much trouble because this product happens to be a good seller year round. But there are some products that you can definitely get yourself in trouble on if you use that same logic of the one of the percentage chart. And here's one of them. So we've got this product. I'm not sure why the chart's smaller. Let me see if I can make that bigger. Okay, there we go. So we got another product, another table topics game. Um, you can see the rank on, on this one was around 3,000 today. 3593 whereas the rank on this one is 151,000 and change on this product. When you see a chart like this that has a lot more variance in from the low rank to the high rank, if you hover over this statistic word you can see on the far right there, its absolute lowest rank ever was 18,873. Its highest rank though has been 219,523. So this is a type of product that you can get in trouble on if you're just using a sales rank percentage chart and not the sales velocity chart. We always like to tell people to use the average 90-day rank, and this is a great example of one that you would want to do that on. You can see this is a tool called RevSeller, great tool. We use it every day in our business if you're buying anything on If you're in any Amazon business model, this is a great tool. Uh, it links to all these different things, so you can search it on Google. You can search the title, the six, first six words anyway, on Amazon to see if there's other listings like that, either similar products or the same duplicate listing for the same product. Search eBay for it, find maybe a source for the product. Um, you can look at reviews. There's a lot of great things you can do with RevSeller, but one of the things that's new, it's in beta mode right now, is this 90-day average price and 90-day average rank. And that's what we highly recommend that you use instead of today's rank because today's rank can be misleading. So if we look at this product, you see, I don't know where it was, but there was it was ranked 18,000 at some point. But we're just gonna use these ranks over here just to keep it simple. I'm gonna blow this up a little bit. So if I bought, if I found this product in the store or online and scanned it and just looked at today's rank of 219,000, I'm probably gonna pass on that product. Um, if there's very little competition, I might buy one or two if the ROI is good enough, but I'm probably not going to buy too many of these. But you can see, this is October 5th down at the bottom there. At the very next day, it's all the, all the way down to 94,000. And if I found it a couple days later, it's down to 70,000. And if I found it over here, just, you know, we're, we're October 7th, to October 21st, 22nd, just two weeks later, I find it at 57,882. Now, 200,000, 219, almost 220,000 down to 58,000 or so is a huge gap. And if you find it here, you may buy too many, more than you should, um, especially if you're trying to buy just enough to, to last you a month's stock. Um, and if you buy here, you may buy way too few um, because the average rank is actually lower than this and it sells better than a 219,000 rank would indicate. So if we look at this average rank of 128, we'll just say 129,000, we go to our sales velocity chart, go down to toys, and 129,000 is somewhere between 60,000 and 150,000. So again, we're gonna round down and we're gonna estimate that this sells about 10 per month. And if we look at the chart for a month, we can see that that's we got one good drop, two drops. This may be a sale, so we'll count that three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it may be a little conservative. It may sell a few more than than that ten. But again, we like to be conservative, so we don't overbuy. Uh, you can certainly go back and buy more if it's not something that's on clearance. But um, better to underbuy than overbuy and be stuck with some product that you bought way too many of. So that's the difference between the two different uh, charts, the two different types of information. We believe that using the sales velocity chart um, will help you. If you bought that product when it was that 50,000 rank, you might have bought, 
thought, assuming it was selling 30 to 50 a month, uh, when in actuality the average rank tells us it's only selling about 10 per month. But this chart gives you that information. It gives you, it empowers you with the information of an approximate uh, estimate of how many something is going to sell at a given average rank. And again, we encourage you in every category where you can to use the average rank, not a single day's rank which can get you in some trouble so hopefully this is very helpful to you like I said this will be available on our website um, we will post the link below this video um, and we'll be posting updates every week we'll have this updated by a VA every week and it will be as as up-to-date as we can make it on a weekly basis so that you'll have the most current information based on whatever selling season we're in. The, the numbers do change depending on, you know, summer season, patio, lawn, and garden. Velocity changes um, at a given rank, whereas toys, same thing will happen with that in Q4. The velocity of a 20,000 rank product is going to change um, in December versus what it is in July. So by keeping it up to date, if you check that on a daily basis when you're shopping online or, or doing your wholesale buying, use this chart. It'll give you a some good information that will help you make some smarter buying decisions. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Uh, sign up for our videos to, to be notified when the next ones come out uh, by going to the bottom right hand corner of this video and clicking on our logo to sign up. Um, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to, to message us. Uh, and if, you have, if you're looking for tips, tools, and resources to help you grow your Amazon or eBay or book selling or wholesale or liquidation businesses, uh, you'll be sure to check out SellerEssentials.com for more information for those. Have a good night.